Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horse <laughs>
way. <laughs> We're here at a horse to sing none of it. Yes, sir. Oh, nice Woo! to see you, Ralph. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen. Illegal <laughs> contraband. Yes, sir. What are you carrying in your pocket? <clears throat> illegal contraband. Nothing, just glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> and the band is Big Jeff DeSchmidt. Yep. Yes, on the ba big bass, yeah. <laughs> Liza Di Savino on guitar. On a little and guitar. A little guitar and a penny whistle hiding somewhere. <laughs> and uh, Mark Schaefer on a fiddle and mandolin. Nice to see you, Ralph. And last and perhaps least. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> AJ Bodnar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Fine, on fine. On the keyboards and that god awful accordion. And the god awful accordion. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad you said that. <laughs> That's redundant. Well, it's good to have you. Good to see. Good to be here. Yeah. So you guys have been uh, tearing up the uh, the swing and turn dance with the largest attendance of the year 1999. Yeah, that's Thanks right. That. And that's uh, a proud accomplishment. Thank you. Good for the folk project of which this is an activity. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And we uh, just finished a dance in Princeton last night that went very well as well. So. All right. Uh, yeah. We yeah. played the Contrarians too, another folk project function. Uh, out in Highland Park, so you might want to mention that too. You just did. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, the nice thing about about talking about contrarians and swing and turn is, you know, I know that um, it's difficult to mention gigs that happen on a particular date, but these things are ongoing. So every month they come that's, around. That's right. So if someone sees this in February or next August, these dancers are still up and running, and they they should still check them out, especially, of course, if we're going to be there. And you can go to the Folk Project webpage for more information at yep. www.folkproject.org. Yep, that's right. You know, as long as you're talking about the dances, I wanted to mention how easy it is to learn and that any beginner can show up and within a half hour beginner's lesson they'll be participating and having a good time. And it's really user friendly. It's, it's a lot of fun and yep. good exercise. That's right. You know what, to prove that point, three years ago I danced my first contra dance. And now we have a He's band. a born-again contradiction. <laughs> born <again. laughs> yep. All right. I think uh, you have another tune for us. Yep, we do. Uh, Mark, I'm going to let you introduce this one. You want to talk well, about this? Well, you can't because I'm getting my mandolin right. right now. <laughs> oh, I'll introduce you it. See what it's I hard to get Jeff good help. I'm going to let you introduce I'll it. Was, this is Mark's tune. <laughs> He's getting his mandolin. It's another tale of his misspent youth. <laughs> another oh, tale of my We had told me a half-hour show. <laughs> Can I have an A while you're introducing this song? Hey! <laughs> oh, that's kind of an A. Apparently, this is. Because we care. That's your line. <laughs> I've been told that mandolin is Italian for can't stay in tune. But I, <laughs> I don't believe it. Barry well, Mitterhoff says it's eight strings of glory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready. You don't stand next to it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. C chord, please. Oh, Maestro. here we go. Ready? The gun in your hand means I'm changing my plans. I'm not taking a stand. Thanks for warning. I'm packing my case and I'll do about face and I'm out of this place by the morning. I can't say I didn't know. Lucky to get out of town and keep my life. I fell in love with the sheriff's wife. I should have guessed, sir, your town is a mess. But one thing I confess, she's a beauty. I bought her a drink, she tossed me a wink. What else could I think but doing my duty? If I check close on the ring finger of her hand, I might have noticed where it didn't have a tan. But by that time I was just thinking like a man. I fell in love with the sheriff's wife.
that but then in a short while I saw it clearly love is a curse but a six gun is worse officer you got her first and I might pay dearly Stuck in love with the sheriff's wife Some women's eyes will pull you right into a fall You might feel love and she may not see you at all I'm old enough to know the sharp side of the knife But I fell in love with the sheriff's wife right. Thank you Tell of dangerous love. Uh, tell dangerous. <laughs> it, it, in real life, it wasn't that dangerous. <laughs> I considered it an idle threat at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so it was autobiographical, eh? Uh, Semi-autobiographical. <laughs> the sheriff's wife was actually a lot nicer than she turned out to be in the song. <laughs> <laughs> and when, when he was a young man, falling in love with a sheriff's wife was a lot more romantic than it is today. No, no. Do you wish to reveal the, the town that this happened in? Nope. <laughs> Then, then I guess I will. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. The, the wife said no, so you know how that goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> so, you want kibitz or you, wanna, you, want, you want us to keep... It's up, it's up to you. you. I guess we'll keep kibitzing, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, AJ, Have when you did you start this band? <laughs> uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, that should be said that this band has worked very hard for about... Well, I guess if I danced my, my first dance uh, three years ago, I guess it was about two and a half years ago that we got together. And some of us never had even heard the word Contra before in that context. And uh, some of us uh, were new to it, and some of us were very experienced. Mark, 20 years dancing and playing the, this form, you know. So it was like everybody kind of brought their strengths to the table, and we started fooling around and working up. And I don't know, it just, you know, we hit. When I say we hit, I don't mean the big time. I mean we. <laughs> I, I mean the fan. You mean we hit the <laughs> we fan? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, each other. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been having a good time. We've been uh, mostly playing contra dances, but we also, as you can see, we also do concert sets. Uh, in fact, we just did one at the Minstrel a couple weeks ago. So. All right, burning yeah. up the scene. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're starting to do a little swing stuff too. Actually, we've got a a, a gig on New Year's Eve where we're going to do quite a bit of that. So we're. We're not supposed like to mention specific dates. So. Oh. oh, although this could be well, any New Year's Eve. That's true. <laughs> really, I mean, you know, so this is an ongoing. <laughs> anyway, this piece is about contra dancing. This is dedicated to the, my first few contra dances. All right. And it's called "Come to the Contra Dance." Here we go. <laughs> There's a place that I know where I like to go, no matter whether I'm up or down. It's always clear when I get near, cause my feet start to float off the ground. Now I may stay away for too many a day when the end of the week leaves me blind. But then I always return to where my feet and my and I start making up my grind. And it's balance and swing, and into your own minds. Ladies, chain across, and then you gypsy. Take hands for California twirl, and come to the contra dance with me. Well, I walk through the door onto the wooden floor. My beautiful partner at my side The first two dances are hers My body starts to stir And I gaze into her eyes The caller calls out the dance And we all take hands And the band picks up the pace Every mouth in a grin Every head in a spin And I thank heaven for this place 
and it's balance and swing and into your own lines. Ladies chain across and then you gypsy take hands for California twirl. Come to the club and dance with me. So how did you meet your lovely partner? <laughs> well, God, you know, I'm glad you said that because no, I, it's just something. No, I, this is something I said. You know, wow, this has like really warm, you know, stuff going around because of the connection with you and Liza and me and everything. And you used to take me to Songwriter Circle, which meets in our house. Here we are now, five years later, right? And it meets in our house still, first Thursday of every month. And uh, so all you songwriters out there and all you songwriters out there, you know, give us a call or, you know, log in on, uh, check out our website. And, um, but we went there every month for the longest time, you and I together, and we talk about things. And yes, we did. I, I, I remember the first night I, I said <laughs> to you, the, that first time I said to you, what do you think about Liza? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, see? <laughs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't tell me what the answer was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not true. And, and, and then I got married, and, uh, or I should say we got engaged, and I, and I raced down to Ralph's house, and I said, uh, or Ralph's place of business, and I said, you know, I'm, I'm engaged to Liza. And he looked at me, and he said, don't do anything wrong. Because <laughs> it was on his head. <laughs> he brought us together. But we always thought, you know, if we ever have kids that, you know, they get to that sullen teenager age where they say, oh, nobody loves me and I can't meet anybody, we cannot in all good conscience say to them, well, you know, they're not going to walk into your living room. You have to get out there and date because <laughs> I walked right into our living room and that's where we're playing together still. Cool. Isn't we should cool? tell folks how to get in touch with you. Uh, well, find out information the best way right now is uh, to call 973-316-8423 and call Vane Pig Studios. <laughs> and uh, Ralph, that is not funny. <laughs> you know, that's not. Uh. Vane Pig Studios. Yeah, I wonder how much like toothpaste Tom Olive would sell if they'd have some guy go <laughs> Colgate off, the, <laughs> off, off to the side somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, call Vane Pig Studios. And, 
and give us a call and come down and see our pigs. They really do exist. Yes. Or you can <laughs> visit their website at yeah, www.vainpig.com. That's right. <laughs> which hopefully will be up and running by the time this show is broadcast. Oh, yes, it will. Absolutely. Good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Give us another tune. Okay, sure. Um, how much do we have time for? One more tune, or you, you got about uh, six minutes. Well, maybe oh. uh, I don't know. What, what should we do? You want to do a little contra stuff? Sure, that's what we're here to do. Um, why don't we do a little Bailey Hollow? Just a little Bailey Hollow, and then we'll and then we'll ask Ralph to join us. Okay. Okay. okay here we go. So I take it that's an original of somebody. Yeah, it is. Yes. Well, the band writes its own material a lot of times. What what happens is it starts. This is the this is the womb. Okay. Me. <laughs> this is where it is all conceived. It's a very large baby. We'll, yeah. This what 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 will happen is um, we'll we'll be talking. We'll be just you know shooting the breeze, and all of a sudden someone will say something, and he will say. That sounds like a good title for a song. Yeah, he, he, he stopped rehearsal one day and said, I want to write a song called Bailey Hollow Road. So he started, he, he gave some changes, and I started with a melody, and Mark finished the melody, and then we... And then I threw in something, and, and all, all right. four of us you know wrote what? the tune. Inspiration cool. just hit me. Let's write a song right now called The Womb. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I have to work with. <laughs> you want to join us for the last well, piece? Sure enough. Yeah. All right, very good. Yeah, what is the last piece? Uh, we were going to do uh, Haste of the Wedding. And, and, the that's wedding. and that's got a story, too. And that's got a story, too, because you played that at our wedding. And, uh... Even though you don't remember it, you played it at <laughs> <laughs> That's really, uh... That Cuts. When, yeah, yeah that really makes I mean, us that feel it was me. a special right day for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Just get the right key. It's been a pleasure having illegal contraband Thank on you, television. It's nice been visit. Here, Thank you for having us. <laughs> it's been a pleasure being here with you again, too. And you've had us on several times. Thanks for this opportunity to keep seeing ourselves on TV and <laughs> <laughs> watching us grow old. <laughs> I can just put on those videos and just watch my life. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Ready? 